5 seconds comments i have great pleasure in welcoming you all to this important meeting of the national integration council i would like you to remember that we are meeting at a time when the country is facing grave challenges this is the time when we have to demonstrate to the world that we are all one and we have the only objective of building our country strong and dynamic you are aware that it is not the first time that the council is meeting we met from time to time after attaining independence to discuss various issues confronting our nation in this meeting of today we propose to devote our attention to the important question of communal harmony i feel it is necessary because at present certain forces are at work to create differences between one community and the other in addition to this there are some other equally important and major issues like terrorism in the present day meeting we have to consider all these very important issues and find solutions to them it is the considered view of the government that the important forum should be utilized as often as necessary to discuss issues that are before the nation and create a congenial climate for their solution it is a matter of pride that since the dawn of history indian society has been characterized by a spirit of tolerance i consider that this is the most unique feature of our country and i hope you will also agree with me in this regard we are true to our own faith and to our own way of living and at the same time we have always respected the rights of others to practice and propagate their faith and to choose their own way of life it is this special characteristic that has given india a rich civilization and a remarkable culture of which we can be proud of if the present developments are viewed from this background they are quite distressing to all the right thinking persons in the last few years the communal virus has been spreading from place to place and the communal riots have caused a heavy loss of human life they have brought great misery to the people all of us who are meeting here must seriously think as to why these abnormal developments are taking place in our society it seems that the wisdom the tolerance and the spirit of accommodation of our ancient society are being forgotten secularism is one of the outstanding features of our nation communalism is extremely dangerous as it generates hatred and creates differences between man and man it is unfortunate that much of our nation's energy and resources have to be diverted to check the communal violence while the economic development and the improvement of the living conditions of the poor masses 
is the need of the hour i am very happy to inform you that we have embarked on a very ambitious set of policies to enable us not only to overcome this crisis but also to establish india as a strong and dynamic country we have the enormous task of spreading literacy and education improving the standard of living of our people and providing employment opportunities to millions of youth for the attainment of these goals we need peace and order and the spirit of cooperation among the people these are the tasks which should receive the utmost attention of all of us in this meeting the pace of change is very fast all over the world in almost every country historic developments are taking place and many countries are making rapid progress in this race we cannot allow india in any case to be left behind it is therefore necessary to put together the energies of all our people irrespective of the caste and religion and concentrate on the most important task of building our nation it should be the combined view of all of us that the unity and the integrity of our country must be preserved at all costs as it is above politics above individual gain and above the interests of one group or another it is fundamental to the prosperity of the nation as a whole dear sir i am in receipt of your letter of second instant and very happy to learn that you propose to visit india during the month of september to participate in the international seminar on education which is being attended by educationists of very high repute from all over the world as you are aware the present day education system is not able to completely prepare and equip the children to meet the challenges that are likely to arise in their day to day life i hope you will agree with me that education without a proper moral base is counterproductive and cannot yield any fruitful results it is very important that the children should be made to understand the basic moral values of almost all the major religions of the world in the primary stages itself i hope and trust that it will not only shape their own lives but also the future of the nation to which they belong i am confident that the seminar for which you are coming will not only give thought to this important aspect of education but also various other problems confronting the education system it is indeed a matter of satisfaction that you propose to stay in india for a few more days after the seminar and visit some of the famous educational institutions in the country i have no doubt whatsoever that those institutions would be immensely benefited by your visit i have made it a point to be present here during the days of your visit and would also like to accompany you i am also preparing a plan to take you to some of the important spots of tourist interest in and around the places you propose to visit 
looking forward to receive you personally yours truly